Now, to be able to remove the stereo, first of all, you need some kind of tool like this, something just flat like that, make, preferably made by plastic, so you won't damage anything, don't using flat screwdriver or anything like that, if you can. And when you start removing this panel, it's best, in my opinion, is go start from the back here better. Work along along that line there and sort of slipping back that way. And you see the reason why in a minute I show you. It's just like that. Now just you look here. After I remove this one now, you have a look under here. See because the way they design is this or this little legs here sticking out like that, right? Because they're poking from the front, they poke it into here, you see? They go like that. So try not to just flick up from this end because if you're going to go like this, you're going to damage this little uh, part there. So thinking about it, so it's just the best way to do, like I said, uh, go from the back here and try to clip it under and go on the side and either side and then sort of, you know, jiggling around it and bring it back this way and this whole thing like that. Okay. And now if you don't want to take it out, it's okay. You can leave it like that if you want. If not, just one that has a switch. There you have to remove that all. Okay, now next. Okay, next steps. All you have to do, just go around here, drop the glob box down. It's a glob box just like that. Throw it down, just drop, remove this. Just put the glob box on the side. Now after that, you have to have a look through there. There's a 10 mil, you can't go wrong. This is one is sitting in right inside there. This is 10 mil. Like that. So basically this is one on this side and there'll be one on the other side. Just go through there and you have a look at it. You will see it. Just tuck it inside there. It's 10 mil. A little bit tight. That one. On that, that side. Now I move across to the other side now. Now it's on the driver's side. You have to try to remove this strip here, this piece here. And then this panel here, just remove these panels out, just from there, just a flat tool like this, just go up there, and then this panel will come out, okay, and after that, this is what I took out earlier, that's all, basically this piece is basically sit like that, okay, and then you will see on the side here, there's one screw there, that's all. Okay, just remove that screws out and this whole piece assembly will come out, pop out like this. And then there's two wiring there. You need to unplug them if you want to take it out completely. So just remove this two plug there on the back here. That should come out. Now after that, there's this piece here under there. Okay. It's also have one screw mount to this airbag there. This airbag is like this under there. This airbag here, they've got one screw here and one screw inside there. Okay? So basically, you just take this, just clip this one out. This piece will come out like this. Just drop it like that. No need to take it out at all. Just leave it like that. And the, even the airbag. You take these two screws out. That side one and that one on the other side. And just drop it on the floor like that. Don't unplug them or just, just leave them alone like that. Make sure all the key turn off and things like that. Now then, after that, you will see deep inside there, the same thing on, that, on the other side. There's also a 10 mil sitting deep inside there. Okay. Let's... There's 10 mil like this, it's inside there. Okay, after you remove that, and then, obviously you have to remove the two screw up here first. That's a two, and two on either side, there's four of them. Not that, just a matter of, the whole unit will come out like that, complete like that. Okay, with the air conditioning control panel as well, everything will come out. And then, you can unplug it and do whatever you want with the stereo from there. Okay, thank you.